Hello and welcome to today's venue, which is so secret that I can't even properly show you. Okay, so instead, I'm just going to tell you the story. So it's called The Potting Shed and it was set up by David, the owner, who originally worked in men's fashion. And then when he moved to Folkestone, he decided to do something a little bit different. So he started off by setting up an interior shop, an antique interior shop, but he wanted something a little bit different, something extra to add to the business. So it was on a visit to uh, a menswear store kind of venue in Birmingham that he saw that they had a speakeasy club, which inspired him to set up the other part of the business, other part of the potting shed, which is this prohibition 1920s to 1933 style bar. And it's so cool. I'm looking around, it's so, it's just really, really cool. It's a great space. And what's really lovely about it is we have this wonderful kind of outside, um, like the main shop area. And then what happens is you come through, it's, it's like coming into a little shed, hence the name. And you come through and they've got this great kind of distressed furniture, garden style furniture, and you come in and it's this really cool, intimate space. And look, I even want to show you things like, look, the, the lampshades that we have here, everyone can draw on them. And this was um, inspired by a trip he took to Italy and people were drawing on them. And you can really kind of leave your mark that you have been here in this secret space and in this secret venue. Like all the menu is completely inspired by the time, by the prohibition, this speak easy style. And what's really interesting about that period is basically the reason they had speak easy clubs and all these secret kind of bars was because in the States they weren't allowed to be drinking alcohol. So they had to do it in secret. And because there was no alcohol, they were just making it at home. So it was tasting a little bit rubbish, which was where the birth of the cocktail came from because their homemade spirits were a little bit rough. So they were mixing it with other things, making it more kind of interesting, more exciting. And I love that, yeah, that prohibition period was where the real boom of the cocktail kind of came to life. And David, the owner, has worked with a local mixologist to come up with an absolutely kind of quintessential prohibition speakeasy menu. We've got things like old fashions, we've got like Sazeracs, we've got martinis, all things like that, gimlets, all the classic stuff that you would have in that period. And the whole place is just absolutely inspired by that. And you really feel like you're here. You are in another time, in another world when you're down here because all the music is jazz um, from that period. And even as far as like the bartenders are wearing the traditional kind of outfits that they would have worn during that time as well. So it's a really, really cool place, a really cool space. It's just got like this dark lighting. You really feel like you are transported back. I wish I could show you, but I'm not allowed because it's secret. But if you do want to come and check it out, what you've got to do is you've got to find the potting shed. Okay, find the interiors, like the antique interiors shop, and the details are there. They're hidden on the door. So you find those, and then you've got to send a message to make a booking, and you will get sent a password on the day of your booking, and you've got to use that password to get in. It's an awesome space, and I love Ring the Bell password, are you allowed in or are you not, to come down to this secret speakeasy prohibition cocktail bar. Absolutely delicious cocktails, really, really good. Come and check it out, The Potting Shed, The Secret Speakeasy Bar.